Hello students, as we are seeing important questions from D and F block elements. Today's important questions are reasoning type question. Come on, let us go and identify the reason for upcoming questions. First question, size of lanthanoid cation decrease with increase in atomic number Y. The second question also which is related to the first question, actinoid contraction is greater from element to element than lanthanoid contraction Y. Actually both the questions are mentioning a related same answer only a little bit similar answer you can identify. Now the first question size of the lanthanoid cation decrease with the increase in atomic number. The main reason poor shielding effect of F electron. Due to that poor shielding effect of F electron effective nuclear charge increase ionic size decrease yes come on uh, let us write that the first one the first answer due to that due to that poor shielding effect shielding effect of f electron i just mentioned f electron Directly I have written 4F electron. Why? Lanthanide is having only 4F electron, right? So, due to the poor shielding effect of F electron, in that effective nuclear charge, effective nuclear charge increases ionic size decreases. Okay, effective nuclear charge increases and ionic size decreases. I just mentioned here only so that you will come to know. Up arrow mark increase, down arrow mark decrease. Okay, so ionic size decreases. That is what completely we can say. What is the meaning of this complete? This is lanthanoid, lanthanoid contraction. See, direct question they would have asked, what do you mean by lanthanoid contraction? No, indirectly they are asking, what do you mean by lanthanoid contraction? Please note that size of lanthanoid cation decrease with the increase in atomic number. That is due to what it is, poor shielding effect of F electron. That is what 4F electrons only belongs to lanthanoid. Please note that because another question, one more typical See, effect of nuclear charge increase, ionic size decrease. Hope you got a better idea about that. First question. Now the second question. Actinoid contraction is greater than lanthanoid contraction. Yeah. Actinoid contraction is greater from element to element than lanthanoid contraction. Why? Because actinoid series having 4F and 5F electrons are available whereas lanthanoid contraction only 4F electrons are available. That is what actinoid contraction is greater from element to element than lanthanoid. Why? Because there is 4F and 5F electrons are there. Where? It is there in the actinoid series. Yes, that is due to what it is? Due to Poor shielding effect of poor shielding effect of 4F electron and 5F electron in actinoid series. Actinoid. Actinoid, whereas, uh, whereas lanthanoid having only poor shielding effect of shielding effect of 4F electrons only. So, in that lanthanoid series having poor shielding effect, what it is? Only 4F electrons are available. 
whereas in actinoid series, 4F electrons and 5F electrons are available. Available. So that is the reason actinoid contraction is greater from element to element. Hope you got a better idea about these two questions and what do you mean by actinoid series or what do you mean by actinoid contraction? You can write this answer. Due to the poor shielding effect of 4F electron and 5F electron in actinoid so that actinoid contraction is greater from element to element. Hope you got a better idea about these two questions. Come on, let us go for some other questions to analyze. The next one actually very interesting and important question. In chemistry, actinoids are more complicated than lanthanoid. Why? And actinoids show irregularities in the electronic configuration. Okay. Now, actinoid series, if you take, actinoids are having more radioactive elements and they are having very short half-life period. Okay. Now, irregularities, if we are talking about actinoid series means they are having a comparable energy of 7s, 6d and 5f. So naturally they will get what it is, irregularities of the electronic configuration. Okay, now what is the first point? Actinoids, actinoids are having more, ele more radioactive elements, more radioactive elements and very sh short half-life period short half-life okay now short half-life also you can read another point what it is irregularities of their electronic configuration so irregularities means the comparable energy comparable energy energy of 7s 6d and 5f so it is like a irregular because which is the highest energy which is the lowest energy in that way 7s 6d and 5f so naturally it is having what it is irregularities of the electronic configuration hope you got a better idea about these two points actinoids are more complicated why because we are having more radioactive elements in it so not and one more point very short half-life period half-life elements are available so naturally it is a complicated and the second one energy comparable it is 7s 6d and 5f so naturally irregularities of electronic configuration usually starts from smaller to higher energy only it goes but here from 7 6 5 like that irregularities it is coming hope you got a better idea now the next one interstitial compounds what do you mean by interstitial compounds see transitional metals are having voids how can you mention in this way means this is a transitional metal. Imagine this is a transitional metal. In this, voids are available. So, voids means this empty space only we can say voids. Empty space. So, in this voids, smaller atomic radii like carbon, nitrogen, boron, hydrogen which is going to occupy in that voids. So, that is called interstitial compounds. Example, Fe3H, Tic and even we can say steel also. Actually, it is a non-stoichiometric compound. The composition is not fixed in a proper ratio, right? And it is actually very less malleable and ductile. It is very harder only, but it is very less malleable and ductile. Hope you got a better idea. Okay, in transitional elements, transitional metals, metals, voids are there. Voids are available. Okay, so in that voids, 
in that void okay uh, like smaller atomic radii like smaller atomic radii radii which will go and occupy Okay, so that point which is called trans interstitial compounds and it is a non-stoichiometric and actually non-stoichiometric means that composition it's not fixed, less malleable and ductile and it's very hard only. Okay, hope you got a better idea and the examples these are all that point you can mention. Okay, now we are going to see the mesh metal. What do you mean by mesh metal? Here mesh metal means generally it is an alloy of cerium. Okay, cerium 25 percentage we can take and the rest of that lanthanides and iron up to 5 percentage and traces elements like sulfur, carbon, uh, calcium, aluminium, these are also it is available and it is actually we can say it is a pyrophoric material. It is used for lighter flints. Yes. Okay. Now this is what it is. A lot of cerium. How much percentage? 25 percentage and other lanthanides also. Also, okay. Now, iron, iron up to five percentage, and traces like traces like sulfur, carbon, calcium, aluminium. So these are all the materials also available in this alloy, and this is pyrophoric material. Pyrophoric material and this is what it is. It is used for, it is used for um, lighter flints, lighter flints. Hope you got a better idea about the mesh metal. Two more questions, you may get it into interstitial compounds and mesh metals. Here another one more important question. Write the difference between transitional elements and P-block elements. They mentioned with reference to variable oxidation. They mentioned which one we have to give the difference between. So oxidation only. Uh, variable oxidation state. So transitional elements. Elements and P-block elements. Okay. Transitional elements and um, P block elements, variable oxidation state, variable oxidation state, it is deferred by plus 1, where it is variable oxidation state, variable oxidation state deferred, deferred by plus 2. Okay, and P block elements oxidation state, actually it is lower lower due to inert pair effect due to due to inert pair effect effect okay whereas here higher oxidation state higher oxidation state here lower oxidation state okay here higher oxidation state which is having higher oxidation state Transitional elements are having higher oxidation state and it is more easily to go. More easily. Hope you got a better idea about the difference between transitional elements and P-block elements. Okay, now let us go for some other important question. The next important and interesting simple question Compare the chemistry of lanthanoids and actinoids. Every time, ever green question, compare or difference, both are similar answer only. Okay, with special reference, they themselves have given electronic configuration, atomic and ionic size, oxidation state, 
chemical reactivity actually past those questions and all we have gone through but directly they are asking come on let us go and analyze it here lanthanoids lanthanoid and actinoids actinoids okay so lanthanoids and actinoids here first and foremost electronic configuration so what is that electronic configuration in lanthanoid 4f electrons progressively filled in the electronic configuration whereas actinoids here 5f electrons progressively filled in that electronic configuration yes fine the second point so the second point what it is ionic and atomic size atomic and ionic size decreases from left to right both are decreases from left to right okay right atomic and ionic size decrease from left to right from left to right both are in the same only but comparatively lanthanoids actinoids decreases more see actinoids decreases more why because 5f 5f electrons 5f electrons 5f electrons poor shielding effect of 5f electrons poor shielding effect of 5f electrons right hope you got a better idea about these two points now third point what it has mentioned oxidation state generally lanthanides are plus 3 oxidation states only very few elements are plus 2 and plus 4 oxidation state whereas here actinoids are plus 3 to plus 7 oxidation states okay now chemical reactivity actually here lanthanides are less reactive actinoids are more reactive okay lanthanoids are what it is fourth one yeah it's actually less reactive due to high high ionization due to high ionization energy whereas here actinoids are more reactive more reactive due to low ionization energy hope you got a better idea about all these points yes i hope you got complete idea about d and f block elements what are the important questions see mainly you please go through the redox reaction complete the following redox reaction and preparation of KMnO4, K2Cr2O7, it's a mandatory, definitely, those questions will be applicable for the board exam, okay. Please go through thoroughly, thanks for watching and next class, let us go for the solution, important questions because solution in that physical chemistry, it's very interesting and there are so many important questions are there. In our next session, will meet in that solution chapter. Thanks for watching and please subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get all the notification. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.